of water. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. And when that comes to a boil, I'll be adding one third cup of baking soda. Now my water's starting to come up to a boil, so I'm going to go ahead and add the baking soda. I'm going to stir that around and kind of get it mixed. I'm just going to allow that to continue to cook. Now I've made a, uh, a pizza dough earlier and I'm just going to remove the cling wrap and I'm going to gently press it down to deflate the air. Just be gentle with it. Then I use this little plastic uh, spatula thing and I'm just going to kind of score the dough. And the idea is to divide it, divide the dough into four sections. So after you've kind of got it even, it don't have to be perfect, just eyeball it. I'm going to take my spatula scraper and cut down through the dough. Now I'm going to take each section and just kind of form it into a rough sandwich roll shape. About like that. And I'm going to add this to the boiling water that has the baking soda in it and allow it to cook about 20 to 30 seconds on each side. And then what I want to do is uh, remove it and set it on a wire rack or a plate with lined with paper towels will be fine. So bring you back over here. Now I'm going to gently flip it over to the other side. Allow it to cook another 30 seconds. I'll remove it and allow it to drip dry. I have a little wire rack, just whatever you want to use. And I'll repeat that process for the other sections of dough. taken a cookie sheet and I've placed a sheet of parchment paper and I'm going to take vegetable oil spray and just lightly put a coating of spray on that. Then I'm going to place each roll on the cookie sheet. Using a sharp knife, I'm just going to slice a few little grooves across the top. You don't want to go too deep with them, just gently score the top a little bit. I've taken one egg and I added a tablespoon of cold water and just took a fork and beat that up. So I'm going to brush a thin layer on top of each of the rolls to coat it. This will help it brown up real nice and pretty. The kosher salt and lightly sprinkle a little bit on each row. Then you want to place it in your oven. I have mine preheated to about 420 about 420 degrees and it'll probably take anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. Everybody's oven is different, but you just want to bake them until they're nice and brown. 
When the pretzel rolls were nice and brown, I removed them from the oven and placed them on a cooling rack to cool. While the sandwich rolls were cooling, I went and got two frozen breaded chicken breasts to bake in the new wave oven. I purchased these chicken breast patties at Aldi's, but you can use any brand that you prefer. For this particular brand, it took about 30 minutes to bake, cooking 15 minutes on each side. You want to take your serrated knife after your rolls have cooled and just cut down through and split them in two. On these sandwiches, I'll be using Hellman's Dijonese, and I'm just going to apply a thin layer to each row. I then place some leaf lettuce on each row. Using a sharp knife, I cut up each chicken breast into smaller portions and then placed on the rolls.